wanted to solo on the bass. This is a quick soloing 101 lesson to just get you started with the concept with some very simple, a simple little pattern that you can start messing around with and get into soloing. So this is very basic. Um, I'm in the key of E here. So here's a high E on the A string on the seventh fret or the open string. There's where the E's are. <clears throat> In this example, I'm going to give you a minor pentatonic example. It's more like a, like a rock and roll type riffing and jamming. Um, it's not going to work in every instance because sometimes um, the music is major and it's not. It doesn't have the minor tonality. But a lot of times when you're jamming and you want to solo, a lot of times this is in minor. So here I'm going to put my uh, ring finger on the seventh fret on the E. And the reason I'm going to do this is because I'm going to create a little box, a little little pattern of notes here between the uh, seventh fret and the fifth fret. So this is the key that I'm soloing in. This is the root note. This is what I'm basing everything around. And what I'm going to do is create a box of notes that are on on these three strings and just these two two frets like this not not the high string but just these three strings like this now a lot of times I'll use my pinky because the reach is easier I'm sort of men around here so um, the concept in soloing especially on bass is to really stay around that root note. And sort of tease with the other notes, play th with the other notes just a little bit. But come back to the E, at least when you're starting out. That way, the tonality is still held in the sound. And it's a good way to start. You can always, you know, you're always gonna venture out from this. This is just the very beginning. If you've just never really soloed before, never really tried it, um, the, the concept is that we have a pattern of notes that are okay to use, that are, that are going to sound good. And then we just start screwing around with them until we come up with something that we like. I mean, I can go, and it might not be very interesting, but I can use the same pattern of notes. And just play around with them and come up with all these little riffs. Now, obviously, I've been doing this for a long time, so this takes experimentation on your part, and you have to spend some time with it and screw, out, uh, screw around with it to come up with things that you like, and that's developing your sound. So, There's my note. As long as you always come back to that note while you're jamming, it holds on to the sound of it. So the cool thing is you can take this pattern and you can move it anywhere. So if this is an E and I wanted to, let's say, move it up to a G, here's a G right here. I'm going to get that in the camera better. that uh, I can come up with a bunch of riffs in G so it's an acceptable pattern of notes and you have a center note the, the root note that you're jamming on the key that you're jamming in and you can just start screwing around and come up with riffs it's real easy to do again this is a minor pentatonic example um, some of these notes might work in major uh, tonalities but um, that note right there is pretty much locking you into the minor sound. But again, that's where a lot of jamming and riffing occurs is in the minor tonalities. So there you go. Uh, bass soloing 101. Very simple pentatonic riffs based around a tonic note using a pattern. Of course, you can get fancy with the pattern. 
once you have built up your skills and learned more about this. So if you want to learn more about improvising and playing the bass, learning songs and that sort of stuff, subscribe to the channel down here. We've got a ton of lessons. There's a beginner's playlist. Uh, we got stuff for blues. We got jazz, improvisation, scales, music theory, whatever you want. Uh, we've got some of it. Uh, please like us and share us, and we'd appreciate that. So we'll see you next time. More improvisational lessons. Mm -hmm.